Hello, for this work video or work example video, uh, we were asked to find that the moment uh, that this force, so this force up here, this 80 pound force, uh, exerts around about point A, uh, and also what the uh, moment that this force exerts about point A or point B. All right, so we've got point A, point B. We're going to have to do one of the each one of these one at a time. Um, so we'll start with point A. Uh, and <clears throat> we're going to use the vector method to solve it uh, this time, which means that the moment is equal to R cross F. Uh, and we need to find the R and the F vectors. All right, so the R vector, uh, if I'm taking the moment about point A, I'm going from A up to this point where the force is applied. So this right here is my R vector. This is R sub A. All right, and R sub A. Uh, I'm going to go up six feet in the Y direction. Uh, it's a 30 degree angle, so I need to find this distance here, so D. Uh, and that's a horizontal distance. All right, so um, in this case, it'd be opposite over adjacent, so 6 over. D uh, is going to be equal to the tangent of 30 degrees right here. All right, so <clears throat> if I do that, uh, I find that D is equal to 6 over tan 30, which is 10.39 feet. Just a little bit of geometry to start there. All right, so <clears throat> RA, I go in the X direction, I go over 10.39 feet. In the Y direction, I go up 6 feet. And in the Z direction, which is out of the page, uh, I'm going to go 0 feet. All right, next is the F vector. So the force, um, it's negative in the X direction, positive in the Y direction. Um, and so this is a 60 degree angle right here. Um, so it's going to be force is equal to negative 80 cosine 60. The uh, y component is going to be 80 sine of 60. And the z component of the force is also 0. All right, so r cross f. Uh, and there's a number of different things we can do to, to calculate this. We can do the cross product by hand, uh, which is not something I would recommend on a regular basis, or we can use computer tools like MATLAB or the uh, Wolfram online vector operation calculator. Uh, and if we plug in R cross F, uh, we should wind up with a result of 0, 0, 960. And the units, these are this units up here are feet. These are pounds. And so the units of my moment vector in the end is going to be foot pounds. All right. So this is the moment that this force exerts about point A. All right, next let's go to point B. And we're still going to be using vector operations. Uh, so I know that the moment is equal to R cross F. R sub B is going to be different. Uh, so now I'm going from point B over to where the force is exerted. Uh, and so this time it's going to be still 10.39. This is D is 10.39. Uh, comma zero in the y direction, comma zero in the z direction. All right, the force vector doesn't change; it's the same one I had before. So that is negative 80 cosine of 60, 80 sine 60, and zero. So feet, pounds. There's my units, uh, and if I do R cross F. So now I'm doing RB cross uh, the force vector, which is the same. Uh, again, if I plug this into something like MATLAB or uh, the Wolfram Alpha online, um, <clears throat> I can find 
a result of 0, 0, 0 720 foot-pounds. All right, so that means the moment vectors in both of these cases are in the z direction, which means the moment vectors are positive, they're sticking out of the page, uh, and that means a counterclockwise twist, uh, which kind of matches with what I expect. This force would cause the body to rotate counterclockwise if I choose A or B is kind of my fixed uh, axis there. All right, and that uh, is the moment about point A, moment about point B. Um, so we've got our answer. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.